Hello kids. So today we are going to be reading this book titled The Honey Bee and the Bee Eater by Olu Sonia Adeyemi Duro. So I was going through some old stuff and I found this um, old book that belongs to my daughter and but I said that I should read this book out loud because I love the story. So let's go. The Honeybee and the Bee Eater Adventure Series One sunny afternoon, the honeybee flew around looking for food. She flew for a long time but she found nothing to eat. The honeybee landed on the blue flowers. She stuck her mouth into the flower cup and started to suck the sweet nectar. She enjoyed the lovely taste of the juice. She went from flower to flower, sucking the juice. She began to have a nice time and was happy. The bee eater was flying by. He perched on a tall palm tree and saw the honeybee in the garden of flowers. Hey honeybee, why are you sucking all the juice from those flowers? The bee eater queried. The honeybee said nothing and continued to suck the nectar from the beautiful flowers of rainbow colors. Yellow, orange, red, blue, green, violet, indigo. Can't you hear me? asked the bee eater. Do you want to suck all the juice from those flowers? Again, the honeybee said nothing. She flew from flower to flower. Flowers of all kinds, roses, daisies, forget-me-nots, lilies, hibiscuses, and sunflower. The bee eater did not like that. He shouted at the honeybee, If you do not leave those flowers alone, I am going to peck you with my sharp beak. The honeybee was not afraid. She was busy with the lovely flowers. As she hopped from one flower to the other, she pollinated the flowers so that they could produce nice fruits. Now, the bee eater was very angry. He flew down in a swoop and attempted to strike at the bee with his sharp beak. But he missed because the honeybee was too fast for him. The honeybee flew up and gave the bee eater a hard sting on the head. Yay! Yay! Oh! cried the bee eater. Oh my head! the bee eater shouted. Then he started flying in blind circles. The honeybee then flew from flower to flower. She sucked the sweet nectar and continued to have a nice time. And the bee eater flew away, mourning in injury. The end. Oh, what an interesting story. I think this story just teaches us um, that we should kind of learn to mind our business. The bee eater just could not mind his business and he got stung. So I think he kind of deserved it. I mean, if you ask me. Okay, kids. So that is it for this story. I hope you enjoyed the story. Again, the story um, is titled "The Honey Bee and the Bee Eater" by Olu Sonya Adeyemi Duro. Such a lovely story. Okay, till next time, kids. See you. Goodbye.